Hi, it's Sachi. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to make a wrap top from this sheer fabric. I thrifted this fabric so I'm not sure about its content exactly, but I think it's poly rayon blend. I want to use this Anasui Vogue pattern I picked up years ago, which is unfortunately out of print. I hope you enjoy some of the tips I'm going to share in this video, so let's get started. I did full bust adjustment to the pattern when I first used it about 10 years ago. I decided to add an inch to all side seams to accommodate those 10 years of my life. Also, I ended up cutting about an inch in length from the back bodice. Tip number one is that you should use weights and rotary cutter instead of scissors. Of course, you can use sharp fabric scissors, but when you're cutting with scissors, you're lifting a little bit of fabric as you go, causing the fabric to shift and warp. It's much easier to cut with a rotary cutter, just make sure to use sharp blade and cutting mat underneath. And be careful not to slice your fingers. When you come to the corners, take your time and make sure every thread is cut before pulling the piece to the side. Since I added an inch to the size of the bodice pieces, I'm also adding an inch to the side seams on peplums. The fabric is facing right side together, so I sandwiched the two layers of fabric with the tracing paper and used the tracing wheel to mark where to place those darts. This ended up not producing clear enough markings, so I went over them with wax chalk to make them more visible. Tip number two is to use bobbin thread darts. Take off the top thread from your sewing machine and pull out the bobbin thread. Now you thread the machine backwards using just the bobbin thread. I usually thread the needles on this machine from the right side, so now I'm going to thread the needle from the left side. Then keep threading backwards. Don't forget to thread correctly through the tension disc. Then you leave the thread end long enough to complete one dart before the end of the thread come off the tension disc. Just keep the thread end out of your way. It should look like this. The bottom and the top thread is connected. Fold the dart and place the tip of the dart underneath the needle. And start sewing the dart. Now you have sewn in the dart. You don't need to backstitch or tie off the end, so it looks clean and bulk free. It won't unravel either. To sew another dart, you have to take off the remaining top thread from the machine and re-thread it the same way using just the bobbin thread. This part is a bit tedious, but I think it's worth it because bust darts are placed in the center of the garment and beautifully sewn darts really make the difference. I think the second dart came out better, but I'm not going to redo the first one because fiddling too much with sheer and delicate fabric will only end up in a disaster. It's important to let go and move on. 
Tip number three is to use new and smaller needle on the machine. I remembered it because when I saw the darts, I noticed the needle was pulling the fabric thread in some places. I should have changed the needle at the very beginning, but it's never too late to improve. Here I'm making bias strips to use later. If you could cut out long bias strips, that would be ideal and easier, but sometimes that is not an economical option or an option at all if you are using thrifted fabric like I was. You have to make it work with what you have and it's usually not a problem, especially if you are using bias strips to bind seams on inside. Tip number four, use seams great to reinforce the shoulder seams. Unlike my other vintage tools and supplies, I believe that you can still buy this at craft stores. I cut a slit on the plastic part of the packaging to pull out what I need when I need it. Simply place the seams grate on the shoulder seams and sew all the layers together. Cut off the excess and trim the seam if you need to and proceed to make French seam. That would be my tip number six, use French seams. To make French seams, you sew seams wrong side together first, flip and sew the seams right side together to encase the raw edges. You might think it's faster to use a serger, but I really think that French seams don't take that much time and look much better on sheer fabric. Here I'm binding the armholes with the bias strips I made earlier. This is just a general tip on sewing, but iron as you go. And ignore how dirty my ironing board is. Refer to your serger's user manual to find out exact setting for the roll hem. I used a 3 thread wrapped rolled hem stitch and used polyester thread. Wooly nylon thread is a fluffier thread that wraps the hem much nicer, but probably hard to come by in regular craft stores. The setting for polyester thread is 257 from the left. Then I changed this switch from S standing for serger to R standing for roll hemming. Set the stitch length between 2 and fine, which is up to your preference. Do some test stitching and determine the stitch length you like. I did a couple of tests and roll hems were separating from the roll edges. So that brings us to the last tip. Use seam scrap to reinforce the roll hemming. Place it underneath the fabric and roll hem together. looks much better. You can leave the seams great like this 
or cut it off as close to the seam as possible. Here is the finished top modeled by me awkwardly standing and trying to keep the balance on the couch. The wrap blouse stayed in place pretty well and feels secure. I think it's great to throw on a tank top or cami dress for more coverage for going out during spring and summer. Okay, enough of that. Thanks for watching, have a great day!